Hi, I'm Phil Kirshner, President of the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. When Superstorm Sandy hit New Jersey's coast, it was unlike anything we have ever seen. The destruction was staggering. Billions of dollars in damage, thousands of families displaced, roads and bridges ruined, and thousands of businesses destroyed. It was an unprecedented natural disaster, leaving no part of our state unscathed. If we were standing here October 29th, the night of the storm, I'd probably be up over my ankles in water. Cars behind us would have upwards of 36 to 38 inches of water in them. Trunks popped open. Um, electrical systems all at failure at that point. And uh, pretty much destroyed. Uh, 53 cars in total, um, upwards of a half a million dollars in absolute total loss of vehicles. When the storm hit, we uh, received an extensive damage to our roof. Uh, the entire small shop that we're sitting in now uh, had its roof entirely blown off, and the main shop had about two-thirds of its roof blown off uh, to the point where it was raining inside the shop. Uh, but we ended up with uh, a foot and a half of what can only be described as kind of oily sand in the building. It was unusual in that regard and that the biggest problem we had was sand. We will probably be discovering some of that sand 10 years from now. But here in New Jersey, we're at our best when things are at their worst. People began cleaning up their properties as soon as they could get back onto them. Our state government leaders fought for disaster aid and businesses took up the challenge to rebuild and recover. Once again, after the storm, you know, thinking about like how, you know, selling all this stuff and, and, and you know, I thought about it a million times, you know, getting out of here, going to Florida, going here. But it's, it was, it's just, it was never an option, you know, we're from New Jersey. This is where our family is, this is where my business is, this is where, I'm, you know, this is it. And it gave me the opportunity to say, if we can help at all, if we can be one-tenth of one one-hundredth of one percent of the recovery of Asbury Park, uh, we were all in on it. We're typical Jersey, I mean, you do what you have to do, and you get up in the morning and you go to work, and you, you put on your pants and you show up and you do everything you can for your, for your other people. The state stood up. That's what it's all about. While we were down, we just had, you know, like we felt like we could do more, you know, like than just sit in the house and play Pictionary with the kids or come here and stare at, you know, what was inevitably nothing we could really do. We're still surviving. We were able to still donate money, you know, for them. And, and we just, that, that's it. It started from there and we just would go to buildings, supply food, whether it be donating food, restaurants, local restaurants, collecting it. Um, we donated a ton of our, our driver's time and, and some of our trucks and vans and stuff to deliver food and, and, and clothing. That's why NJBIA wants to take this opportunity to recognize them for their tremendous achievement. It's fitting that this October, we take a moment to honor the businesses impacted by Sandy. The Awards for Excellence recognizes the extraordinary achievements of businesses and the many benefits they bring to New Jersey as a whole. It is in that spirit that NJBIA takes this opportunity to salute the thousands of employers who contributed to an incredible recovery. New Jersey employers demonstrated excellence in their response to an unprecedented disaster, and in doing so, rescued our jobs and our economy. We salute you for your resilience, we admire you for your determination, and we thank you for showing the world what New Jersey is made of.